President Trump is now facing um, you know, legal cases on three fronts. There are three different women. There's a, a former Playboy uh, model, a porn actress, and then a former contestant on The Apprentice, all of whom are taking different legal actions in the moment, at the moment. Um, we had a couple of uh, big developments yesterday. The, uh, the Playboy model uh, filed a suit seeking to um, invalidate a non-disclosure agreement that she signed. And then this contestant on the, former contestant on The Apprentice, um, a judge ruled that a defamation suit that she's pursuing could continue um, in court. And that one is notable because there's a potential that the president could at some point become deposed in that. So I think the key thing is that there are, and then and there's also, I think many people have heard the name Stormy Daniels, uh, AKA Stephanie Clifford. That case continues. She is also seeking to invalidate a non-disclosure. She has uh, been very active on social media. Her attorney has been very public. And um, she has taped a interview with 60 Minutes that's expected to air soon. So all of these cases are very public, and and the legal pressure basically is intensifying on the president. A lot of women came forward during the campaign. A lot of women made accusations. Uh, you know, this, uh, the former Apprentice contestant, Summer Zervos, is one of them who spoke about the president's behavior, the now president's behavior. And supporters of the president will say these things came up. Uh, you know, they were people heard them. There was also the the tape from the um, Access Hollywood, and he was elected anyway. That people people were able to sort of put this aside. They chose him despite this. And I think the thing that we have to think about now, and we will see how this plays out, is that this new sort of uh, flurry of accusations and legal actions come amidst the Me Too movement. And so there is a sort of renewed and heightened sense of interest in accusations by women and treatment of women.